So, the wait is over and Inception is finally in cinemas. And the question everyone is asking is, can a film which costs that much money, but which is that complicated, make its money back? Already. I think I found a way home. And this last job, that's how I get there. The studio thinks so because as far as they're concerned, Inception will show you things you've never seen before. According to the publicity, Inception is the first movie in which your mind is the scene of the crime, but that's not entirely true. There's an early Twilight Zone episode in which all the action takes place within the mind of a child. Alfred Hitchcock, the great crime thriller director, worked with Salvador Dali to put the world of dreams on screen. And there are closer precedents still. Think, for example, of Dreamscape, the 1980s movie with Dennis Quaid, which was, in many ways, the blueprint for Inception. Even the third instalment in the Nightmare on Elm Street series, Dream Warriors, in which the kids get together in one dream to fight an unnamed enemy. So, your homework for this week Firstly, go see Inception, because wouldn't it be great if it was a huge hit and it proved that you don't have to be dumb to be a blockbuster? But secondly, here on the Kermit Uncut site, let me know the films that you think put dreams on screen and perhaps offered a precedent for Inception.